you today, Mayor? I'm doing fine, Joseph. Good this morning to you. Good morning. It's the last day of January, 2023. Yes, unbelievable. And it looks, uh, looks like it for a change. <laughs> off to a fast start. Yes, indeed. Yes. <laughs> a little surprise this morning looking out the window. Yes, it's a good thing you're not doing the uh, state of the city outside today. today like you yeah, did, that wouldn't be fun. Like you did in 2021, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be by myself, I know that. <laughs> uh, well, it is uh, kind of... I guess back to normal uh, this year for State of the City, right? Hey, whatever normal is, yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll be in the Great Hall, and uh, it's uh, all good. Tell us a little bit, if you can, about uh, your speech. Uh, is the ink still wet? It is indeed. Yeah. Uh, just uh, put a step last night and just looked at it a couple times this morning, changed a little bit here and there, but I keep reminding myself, you know, after it's over, no one's going to remember it anyway. Actually, I have saved every single one of your state of the cities yeah. since you first took office. <laughs> Something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we'll sit down and go over them all. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> but what's in uh, this year's uh, uh, <clears throat> discussion? Well, we'll touch on, uh, obviously, the state of the city is really to talk a little bit about the city, uh, its strengths, um, some of the challenges, and what we accomplished and what we going forward with, but I decided to focus that around a number of individuals who work for the city. So the the focus is uh, is really less on me, but on those people that uh, put it out there every day um, for the city, getting the job done, and coming together with all of them. That's how the city operates each and every day. So certainly I set the agenda, we set the goals, but uh, there's a lot of terrific managers and city employees who uh, love what they do and love the city and get it done each and every day. So that's kind of the theme today. Mm-hmm. Um, no surprise announcements. Uh, uh, but, um, you know, I, I think it's important that I wish I could recognize everybody, but with almost 3,000 employees, that's impossible. So um, I hope that people understand that those folks, I'm rep- you know, that I'm recognizing are representative of a lot of other folks. Um, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Will there be an actual um, ceremony, Mayor, with uh, with color guard and and uh, presentations beforehand, or will it just be yourself? No, we'll have the uh, combined color guard, police and fire, honor guards, mm-hmm. and then um, we'll have a uh, lieutenant Shea from the fire department will lead us in a pledge. He's a he's a marine. Mm-hmm. We'll have uh, Bishop O'Connell, who is the vicar general number two in the archdiocese. Uh, I have a connection with him from years ago. Uh, we'll do the invocation. Uh, the Imam um, Aid will do the closing prayer. We have three or four kids from the North and Quincy Combined Choir that will do the national anthem. Hmm. Uh, and Catherine Craven will uh, introduce me today. Uh, she's on the College Board of Governors. She's a uh, founding member of the Adams Presidential Center, and she's the uh, Chief Operating Officer at the uh, Babson University. Uh, also Chairman of the. Uh, Department of Education's K-12 board. So she's a uh, busy lady yeah. and uh, loves Quincy. Any uh, special guests uh, of note that, that will be attending? Governor Healy plans to be there for at least a portion of it. Oh. Uh, Speaker Mariano and, uh, of course, all of our other electeds, uh, local, county, and state, mm-hmm. uh, have all been invited. Um, some of them are too good with RSVP, so we'll see who shows them. <laughs> Make the best of it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I know in years past you have uh, recognized folks that have uh, uh, passed on over the past year. Anybody of note this morning to talk about? Well, um, I'm actually going to offer my remarks in, yeah. in memory of my brother-in-law who just passed away, my older sister's husband, Tom, who's oh. the father of uh, firefighter Tom Bowes and mm-hmm. police officer Kristen Bowes. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, he was a bus operator for many years with the T and um, fairly so come to the Alzheimer's disease that he had suffered with for a number of years. So mm-hmm. I'll all remembering him this morning. Uh, certainly be a lot of other people in my heart when I think about from the day I started uh, till today, the amount of people that have been in my life who've gone home uh, to the maker. It's a pretty lengthy list, and, yeah. uh, but I'm also mindful, always mindful of their contributions and their friendship. Sure. About how long do you think the uh, event will be this morning? I think the event in total, about an hour. Okay. And it's open it's to the public. Hope. My yeah. chief of staff will be the uh, MC, Mr. Walker. Yeah. Uh, it is open to the public, and uh, I know that you guys at QATV will be covering it live. Yes. I think it will be streamed. Um, 
I don't know. I'm getting out of my uh, beyond my skis here. So no, no, you're right on. There. You're right on it. You're right on it. It will be live on TV and live on the internet for sure. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Both here and uh, on the city's uh, Facebook page as well. So, so, so we may crack twenty or twenty-five people watching it. <laughs> <out there. laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you're up against. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune or Price is Right or no, something. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, but I bet it'll be um, it'll be good to be back in the Great Hall uh, this time of year, as opposed to two years ago. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, that, there's something special about that hall to begin with. So it's uh, really cool. Uh, changing topics for a little bit, Mayor. I know there was uh, some more teacher negotiations yesterday. Any news to report out of that? I, I, I am aware that we did not come to a settlement. I haven't had a uh, in-depth conversation with the superintendent on the details, but okay. uh, I was hoping that we'd get there. Yeah. Uh, but it appears we're not there yet, so we'll continue the discussions. Okay. Uh, and also, reading about a uh, pretty major improvement project coming to the Mount Walston Cemetery this year. Yes, as you know, we've done the water mains, we've done the roads in the cemetery, we've done some work to the walls, we've gone through some major tree plantings throughout the cemetery. Uh, so the the entrance on C Street uh, is going to be completely redone. Um, the entrance was modified back in the 1950s, Joe. They took all the arches out uh, for whatever reason. My guess is the trucks couldn't get under them. Um, I'm not so sure whether they just send the trucks to Greenleaf Street, however... <laughs> Uh, that's been long gone and those parts and pieces are long gone so we uh, put together a team to address the entrance itself to narrow it down um, make it more beautiful more formal as it was intended it's one of the most beautiful um, garden cemeteries around um, certainly the original portion of it there's a lot of huge big names in that cemetery including the Adamses and Quincy family uh, and so many others uh, as part of our city's history so the be new main gate. It'll be narrowed down. The entrance will be more beautiful, be planted. We'll pick up some more graves uh, in the veterans section. The intention is to realign all of the wall monuments and light them at night. Hmm. Additionally, we'll have all of the flags from the branches of the service uh, up behind the monuments so that, uh, you know, right now we have the American flag, but we have that whole section that's dedicated to our veterans, we thought it appropriate to put the military branches flags up there as well. Mm-hmm. well um, this work will all be underway in, in the coming days. Um, there is another piece that will be added uh, that's just really beginning its, its um, formation, if you will, and that is a new monument to the global war in terror, those that served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, the last monument there was to the men and women who served in Vietnam, mm-hmm. and this will be dedicated to the men and women who served in the effort in the global war on terror, as well as directly in Iraq, Afghanistan. So uh, looking forward to that. That's probably more like a year, year and a half away. Okay. Um, the artist is working on uh, that monument. Um, it's in final design, and then, of course, it will be a combination of bronze and, and granite. Uh, we feel it's it's their time now. Mm. Yeah, we should honor their service, and there'll be seven names of Quincy people that we lost during the time period that will be engraved into the monument so um, important to remember those that gave it all uh, for our country so it, at the end of the day it's going to be a, a really beautiful improvement embellishment of what is a magnificent uh, uh, cemetery so looking forward to the results I understand that um, the, uh, a federal grant was secured to pay for some of it that's correct yep and any chance of getting that I mean there there was a fountain at the entrance there on C Street is that still there well, it was never really a fountain. Um, that piece, uh, granite piece, was actually moved there from Quincy Center. Oh. It was actually uh, out in the middle of the intersection in front of City Hall and the old Bargain Center. Mm-hmm. It was a horse trough. And so the water used to just drop into a trough, and the horses would get a drink out of it. Uh, I see. Uh, so it was never a formal fountain, and quite frankly, it, it doesn't really fit very well there. Um, we are going to look at uh, a new location for that. Um if you, if you look at the back of it, mm-hmm. it's it's not finished in the back, so it really should be up against something, so oh. you don't uh, you don't see the the blemishes of the, the backside because yeah. it's not that attractive. But uh, we'll find a new home for that. Interesting. Okay, I, I, I always thought it was just a functioning fountain at some point. At some point, interesting. Have to find some uh, 
some of Tom Gorman's old Quincy Sun postcard photos. I'm sure he's got them in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he does. Yes. Tom Galvin, you mean? Uh, Tom Galvin, pardon me. Yes, yeah. yeah, exactly. Very good, Mayor. Well, we, good luck with your speech this morning. Thanks so much, Joe. Enjoy the snow. Thank you. You as well. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>